And with this information, I was dying of laughter on the couch, saying to myself, this could possibly be the best thing ever. But of course, it was not done. There is so much more, my friend. So David, after telling me of this ridiculous dink, decides to call her and ask some questions. For example, were you lying about the quote-unquote break with your boyfriend? And the answer, cues drumroll accordingly. Yes, I lied about it. Whoa, definitely wasn't expecting that, right? Holy shit. Next question. Did you ever cheat on Charlie? Drum rolls and multiple gasps within the crowd occur? Yes, I did. I developed feelings for someone else, came over one day, had sex with him, and then the next day I broke up with Charlie. Something along those lines, but still, holy fucking shit, right? The cheating bitch strikes again, clap emoji, clap emoji, then just the fucking holy shit face. So I'm sitting there thinking to myself, holy fuck, what a slut. And so on and so forth, this conversation continues, and dun dun dun. She texts me saying, hey, can I ask you a question? Me, being the gentleman I was raised to be, replied with, no. But trust me, she asked anyways. Do you think I cheated on you? And so hearing what I had just heard, replied, yeah. And she kept on with their fucking annoying bitchiness, said why. And being the gentleman I am, I said, I never fucked you, so I'm guessing you went out and gotten from someone else, or something like that. And then some more conversation, blah, blah, blah. Then I ignored her bitch ass and played zombies with, big, with my nigga Big Davey. After an hour or so passes, I got a 15-message essay with MLA format and a works cited page. From guess who? Yup, you guessed it. Alexis. Crowd gasp in amazement. Last line in this was, I'm not holding grudges. You are, so if there are any issues, lay them out on the table. So being the man that I was raised to be to respect women, I replied with this. You still... Are you keeping along, Chewie? Yeah. Okay. And so after that, she says, How fucking mature, good night and bye, P.S. I'll always love you. And being the awesome person I am, I replied with, Peace. Just to let you know you're doing different than Mariah, and I ain't holding a grudge. There's a reason I said no to getting back with you. And so with that, both Davids, both of the Davids looked at me and said, you just dropped the fucking mic, my good sir. You are officially a savage. And so I said thank you and bowed, and with this happening, I have no doubt in my mind that what started as a drunken Dalton joke could turn into this. And to be honest, this is still hilarious to me. It is fairly high at this point. All in all, I'm laughing on the inside while she's going to ming on the shit out of me. And that, Melissa, is a story for you. But in this case, and that Chewy, it's my story for you. I hope you enjoyed this. This is the only copy ever written, first edition with a signature. Charlie Sujetta, the Savage of the X's.